Welcome back. My name is Aaron Silar. Welcome to the section on framework security for Cognos IBM Business Intelligence. In this section, we're going to learn groups and roles, creating them and the difference between them. Filters, we're going to see how to filter query items. Macros, we're going to look at some of the macros available in Cognos. Next up, package security. We're going to apply security at the package level. Following on to that, object security, where we apply security at the object level, like queries and query items. Then, data security. We're going to apply security at the data level. So our first video is on users, groups, and roles. And in this video, we're going to examine the differences between users, groups, and roles. We're going to look at adding users to groups and groups to roles. And we're going to talk about some best practices between the three items. So over here in IBM Cognos Connection, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to IBM Cognos Administration. You can navigate there by going to the launch icon in your top right of your screen. If you click on this little down arrow there, next to launch is how you're going to get in there. So we're going to go over to the security tab and users, groups, and roles. So the demo instance that ships comes with one user, which is administrator, whatever you set it up as. But you also have the ability to create different kinds of groups and roles. So if we go to directory and Cognos, you can see we've got authenticated users, which is a role. You also have express administrators. Framework Manager Users, Express Users, and System Administrators. You also have Everyone. Everyone is the group of the group Everyone. If you want to create a new group, you can click up here to the top right. If you mouse over the icon, you can see New Group and also New Role. And since most of the roles are already defined by Cognos and what licensing you're going to have with your Cognos environment, I usually don't create too many roles. I rely on the roles that are already existing inside Cognos. So first up, let's go ahead and we're going to create a new group. We're going to call this the finance group. And in here you can put a description or, or a screen tip. So in here I'm going to say members of this group belong to accounting and finance. Next. And do we want to add any users? So you and I, we are both users. Servers can also be users, but not typically. Um, or you may have automated processes that have access to Cognos, but typically humans are always users. Humans can also belong to groups, and humans can also belong to roles. Typically, unless it's just a group of one, I usually put the people by department or by organization inside each group, and then I'll add those groups to the particular roles. It doesn't really matter which one's which, but which you really want to make sure that you're consistent in your approach to adding users, groups, and roles. So if we were to click Add here, if you're connected to Active Directory, this is where it would show the users in the list. You can check on this little checkbox here. And if you want to drive in, you can see you have authenticated users, anonymous. We could add anonymous to this particular group and click OK. And then we'll click Finish. Alternatively, you can also click on the properties here, members. And if we want to remove anonymous from this group, we can select the checkbox next to their name and remove over here on the right hand side. Now we have no members of the group. You can also use groups as they exist in Active Directory. So if your IT department already keeps employees in various groups based on what department they're in, such as finance, you can add Active Directory groups to Cognos groups. And groups are going to become important as we start securing data inside not only Cognos, but Framework Manager. And one other thing here while we're talking about the users, groups, and roles, Express administrators, framework manager users, express users, system administrator users, a lot of these are tied to your licensing. So you do want to make sure that you don't give too many licenses out or give out more seats than you have licenses for. IBM does reserve the right to review your licensing usage. So you always want to make sure that you're coloring inside the lines. 